I'm in Avia Park, which is the biggest shopping center in the whole of Russia. And this is one of the biggest supermarket chains. I'm gonna go inside and give you guys a feel of the cost of living here. This is a reasonable, kind of normal price, large scale supermarket. Let's go inside and see there's quite a lot going on there. So, the, obviously, uh, <laughs> Russian rubles is the currency we're dealing with. And the exchange rate's about 92 rubles to one Australian, uh, sorry, American dollar. Let's just say it's 100. Let's just say it's 100 to one. Just make it easier to calculate. Um, so 100 to one. So if it's 1,000, it's 10 bucks. If it's 100, it's one buck. All right, you want to see some frozen stuff first? So I've got mainly cakes on that side. We've got some ice cream here. Let's get a sense of a tub of ice cream. Again, exchange rates around 100 to 1, or a little bit less. So this is, uh, that's Skitki, means discount. That's around $6, $6 US. That tasty looking premium. It's on the edge here, it's gonna be premium, right? Well positioned. Uh, while we're here, we got some, what appear to be some variant of frozen pizzas. It appear to be somewhere in the vicinity of three US dollars. Got some kind of single ice creams. So just normal single ice creams around one dollar. Seventy cents, eighty cents. Fairly typical ice creams here. Man, I like ice cream. I tell you what, there's a lot of it here. <laughs> a lot of ice cream here. I don't even know what this is. I would say that there's probably palmeni. So palmeni like a dumpling. One kilo is around three dollars fifty. This is kind of what it is here. This kind of stuff. Again, one kilo. Wow, only a dollar sixty for a kilo of this. <laughs> Crazy. This one's got pig in it. This one's got uh, pig meat inside. Dollar sixty for a kilo. One dollar sixty for a kilo. All right, let's see some frozen vegetables. This could be interesting. Frozen fruit. This seems like a niche kind of thing. So by the kilo for frozen klubnika, that's strawberries, uh, that's around three US dollars for a kilo of frozen strawberries per kilo. I'll give the per kilo prices. Uh, here, this is obviously black currants. Um, that's around $2.60 or almost $3 per kilo. It's pretty affordable, I would have thought. Because these kind of, you know, this kind of semi-hipster kind of thing, they usually hold their prices. Uh, let me see which one here. Okay, this is blueberries. Seven dollars, kind of eight dollars for a kilo of frozen blueberries. Yeah, usually the hipster stuff like frozen berries for smoothies and stuff tends to be a little bit pricey. Oh, I see some salmon, let's check it out. So 200 grams of salmon. So for a kilo, it's probably around 17, 18 dollars for a kilo of well, it appears to be salmon. I don't know what salmon is in Paruski. If I'm wrong, my apologies. All right, some basic kind of meats here. So we've got some karutsa, kind of chicken leg there, which is uh, for a kilo, about a dollar eighty. Dollar eighty. Or some chicken, some drumsticks. There. What is the price? What's going on here? Can't decipher the price, but here you got chicken legs as well. Again, around 2.5, 2.7 dollars per kilo for chicken legs. I might check out some minced meat here. Um, I assume this is just normal beef. And uh, oh wow, it's also just kind of like a dollar, somewhere between one and five dollars per kilo, depending on the cut and depending on the leanness, the fat quantity. Right, this is enough meat. Well, here's some chicken breasts. Here's some actual fillets. Fillets around uh, four dollars fifty US per kilo for chicken breasts. Skin off four dollars fifty US per kilo. This looks like it's. Is this pig as well? No, it looks like it's. Uh, I think it's ox. Goodness, that's cheap. Dollar seventy per kilo. I don't know what meat that is. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, it's the neck. I don't know, it's a neck of something. Or just under $2 per kilo. Alright, oh, there we go, some prawns. 
frozen, very frozen, and they are four dollars fifty, around five dollars per kilo. And to be honest, half that weight is water. <laughs> There's a lot of ice connected to them, but they're big ones. That's really cheap. I, I yeah, this is really cheap. I would say this is uh, cheaper than you're going to get in uh, Belarus, for example. Let's get some fish prices. Uh, that would be uh, flounder. I can just tell from the picture. <laughs> I don't know the name. Uh, we don't have any fish in Belarus. So I've never learnt the names for fish. But that's clearly... Uh, looks like flounder to me. So that would be around $6 per kilo. And most of these fish are between $3 and $8 per kilo. We've got some salmon here. Salmon's around kind of, yeah, $15, $16 per kilo. So... I would imagine that this stuff is caught inside of Russia. Uh, so I've got a nice domestic trade going on. There's some fresh fish over here. So you can see, again, the prices are kind of $5, anywhere from 3 to kind of 7 depending on the exact type of fish that it is. Oh, that beautiful smell. Salmon. Salmon's the one that I buy in Australia, so I kind of keep coming back to it. It's around 20, 23 a kilo there. You buy it fresh, and these big prawns are around, or shrimp are around, it's around the ten dollar mark per kilogram. All right, let's get into. You guys want to see a bit of cheese? Let's do some cheese. Sorry, just cut out there. So these are the prices for 100 grams. So you can see anywhere from kind of eight US dollars up to maybe 20 US dollars for various kinds of cheese. You can see some. So, uh, blue vein cheese here seems to be in the vicinity of around 15 to 25 or even 30 for some of the more expensive blue vein cheeses. Let's move on. Pizza, it's Fakusni. This is delicious pizza according to this. That looks pretty good. Three US dollars, three dollars thirty. What looks like pretty gourmet pizza. This one's got salmon on it. It's actually pretty good, I'll be honest with you. If I had an oven, I'd be putting this in there. This is good size, good healthy size for a man who's hungry. For only four US dollars, pretty solid. Check out some milk, Moloko, liter around, uh, what's this, 89, so around a dollar for the liter of fresh milk. Let's move on. Let's do some fruit and veggies. I don't worry about yogurt, let's do some fruit and veggies. I don't see any prices. There you go, tomatoes around one dollar per kilo i don't even know what these are some variant of tomatoes around two dollars per kilo let's move around see what we have some things that are more recognizable another variant of tomatoes one dollar sixty per kilo some kind of capsicums these are around one dollar per kilo some peaches at around a dollar fifty per kilo all oh, these fancy things, these are around $2.60 per kilo. Some banana, around $1 per kilo. Or banana. Some cherries, which are around, uh, it's almost $3 per kilo there for the cherries. I have to say that I've bought some cherries here and I was very underwhelmed by the flavor. The apples were pretty good, I bought the other day. Here we have some staples here. Oh, I've got some of Babushka's staples. You've got some carrots. Carrots that haven't been washed at around 50 cents for a kilo. And carrots that have been washed at around 70 cents per kilo. And then we got the old Kartoshka, around 50 cents per kilo as well. Nana's favorite. And we have some pears and apples. Pears are around $2.50 per kilo here. Got, these are kind of small and pissy little apples for $1.20. We've got some bigger ones somewhere. Here's some better ones over here. We've got more around $2. $2 or so, that's about $1.30. Around $2.20 for these ones. Some watermelons here for around $0.75 cents per kilo. These bad boys. Alright, let's move on. We've got nuts. Check out, we got in their original form. I don't know which one these are. Either way, they're $4 a kilo. These are obviously walnuts. Can't really see a price. 
on them. Well, there's a price on the peanuts. Peanuts are around three dollars per kilo. In the shell. And the rest looks like some lollies. Oh, here's some cashews. Cashews. And this is around uh, fifteen. Obviously, they're treated. Fifteen per kilo for cashews. So this is how chocolates and sugar is usually dealt up in these countries. So you can see there that's the price. 30 cents per 100 grams. They're around three dollars per kilo. These will be chocolate inside. There is kinds of chocolate. And you just help yourself. Let's look at some drinks. We've got some basic pasta here. It's going to be about a dollar. Or I'll guess it's half a kilogram. Yeah, a dollar for roughly half a kilogram of pasta. What else is... Oh, we've got some bread there. Bread's a good staple. Good to see how much bread costs. We've got some kind of hipster rice cakes for around 50 cents each. We've got these things. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. <laughs> but it's around two dollars per kilo. <clears throat> Alright, some bread. Ooh. This is by the kilo. Oh, I know this stuff. This is like a sweet. Oh, this is delicious. It's only two dollars a kilo. This stuff's really good. Oh, let's go some this big bread here. All right. So what's going on here? This bad boy here is about two foot long, maybe longer. So this is around uh, per piece is around. Oh my goodness, that twenty five cents. Would you imagine this whole thing for twenty five cents? This is like, yeah, at least two foot. It's quite light though. Nonetheless, let's see a more conventional uh, loaf. Uh, I guess this is kind of it. Pick up big one here, 50 cents. They're the real staples, right? Like if you're on a tight budget, you have a decent crack at the bread. Here's some drinks. <laughs> I thought that was Coca-Cola, but... I guess Coca-Cola's not here, but we have good cola. Good cola's around a dollar for a litre there. Norbury. Canned 70 cents there. Maybe we'll get a little bit of water as well. Let's check out. Oh, this is flavoured water. I don't even know what most of the stuff is, to be honest. Alright, we've got some kind of big size waters here. So five litres, that's how you usually buy it. So it's this one here. Uh, so it's 50 cents for a litre and a half. 50 cents for a litre and a half. I can't see the price for the big one. Ah, oh, here. This is about a dollar forty for the five litre. About roughly one and a bit gallons. Oh, that beer here as well. Let's check out some beer prices. Is it? Oh, yeah. This is, maybe this is Klus. They have this drink here if you've never been here before. No, this is beer. So you can find a familiar brand. There's <laughs> three bears. <laughs> Light beer. Svetlowy. Svetlowy, so it's around uh, one point, one dollar thirty per kilo. Oh, sorry, per litre. One dollar thirty per litre. I've got no idea what it tastes like. Oh, I do want to get some spring water. This is 50 cents. Good gas, sparkling. It's a gasum. And, oh, there's Ho Garden. There's a familiar. You guys know Ho Garden. It's a Dutch brand, I think. Belgium, sorry, Belgium brand. Uh, for the can there of half a litre, it's around 90 US cents. Oh, Stella Rotoire, you'll know this as well. It's quite a famous international brand. Again, is it half a litre? 450 mils, around $1.30. Uh, well, this says Bud. <laughs> I don't know what that means. If it's Bud Bud or I don't know. But nonetheless, it's around a dollar for uh, half. Oh, yeah, same thing again, 450 mils. Not quite. I thought it was Carlsberg, not quite. And that's the last one that I see that's familiar out of all these. But all around, these non-branded ones are around kind of 60, 70. Well, that one's even 50 cents. So that one's even cheaper at 49 rubles. Oh, wow, this one's 41 rubles. This is like 45 cents for a beer for that. They don't even have a brand. It says beer light. That's all it says. 4.5%. And uh, about 45 US cents. And we've got some vodka here, some Beringhoff. 
which is around uh, that's half a liter I think for around seven seven eight dollars around half a liter of Russia's finest